Salutations and greetings, everyone. My name is Imagine Universe, and I apologize for not being online for a while. Like, I remember in my promo promotional video, I said I was going to make my Mindscape episode on the 20th of May, but it's been literally almost a month now since I um, last, um, well, said that I was supposed to do that video. And I apologize for that because... Um, I've been doing some self-reflecting, some thinking, and I've realized something very important in my life, and that is you gotta thank people in your life. You gotta thank those that you are grateful for in your life. You gotta thank all the good moments in your life. Be grateful for them, because people can't read your mind. And with a lot of negative things in this world, people usually assume the worst if you don't tell them how you actually feel. And if you stay silent, then they're not going to really understand how much you appreciate them. And it's really upsetting nowadays but what I've been doing is I've been trying to change that I've been reminding myself how grateful I am about things in my life and I've been um thanking those that I love and that I care for because they really need to know how thankful I am and that's what this video is going to be about it's going to be a thank you video I'm going to thank all the people that I am thankful for, the good and the bad, because believe it or not, the bad people also have um, helped me make me who I am. Be in their efforts to try to bring me down or do whatever to me, they all they did is make me stronger. But without further ado, let's get on to it. The first people I want to thank most of all is my parents, my mom and my dad. Um, I thank my mom for um, my attitude and for um, w convincing me that I should um, want to do stuff for myself, want to take responsibility and want to do things like make a business. And the thing she really taught me is to not um well not to be overcome by someone or have someone push push you around or use you because she's been used a lot in her life and she really hated it and she didn't want me to be used either so she taught me to um want to seek the truth and not just accept people lying to me that's why um I get really upset if someone lies to me is um thanks to her and it's so it's really I learned my sense of justice from my mom and um I thank her for that. I also thank her for um, even conceiving and creating me. If it wasn't for her and, well, her parents before that and so on and so forth, I guess I also thank all my descendants for creating me. Because if it wasn't for them and meeting each other and taking care of their children, which their children eventually had children who eventually had my mom, which eventually made me. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't exist, and I wouldn't be talking about it now. I would also like to thank my dad for raising me and being there when my mom didn't have anyone. And um, teaching me a lot of stuff. Like, the main lesson he taught me is... Um, uh, it's not what you say, but it's how you say. Because in this world there's a lot of negative things going on and people can easily be ignited and easily explode just by saying the wrong words even though what you said isn't what exactly you mean you gotta watch what you say so he taught me to um say things um properly so that i don't upset people and so that i actually get my point across and that's really helped me out with 
flame wars over the Reddit. I have stopped a couple fights by um, explaining to people about this because a lot of people don't understand um, how what they say can be interpreted by someone else. Because every word has multiple meanings. And um, things like with sarcasm and other human things, human language, things like that. There's lots that um, can easily be mistranslated. And I also thank my dad for teaching me how to be a hugger because usually guys don't hug, but he definitely hugs and he taught me to like hugs too. And I honestly do like hugs and I like giving hugs. I hug my family every time. Um, when something bad's happening to comfort them. I always hug my cousins when we leave um, their house after we came and visit. When we come and visit, I mean. And um, I, I hug a lot of people. And, and I just, it's very awesome. I love hugging, honestly. And I thank my dad for that. And I also thank my dad for making me who I am because the combination of both what my mom had taught and what my dad had taught have both made me into a responsible and caring person and I love what they made me into and I love myself for that I love who I've become and the person I am the caring person that I am and not just some slacker or some jerk I'm like, I have attitude, but I'm not, I understand what I have done, and I apologize later if I had an attitude, and I'm, if I get to that point where I'm, I understand what I did, and I apologize for what I did, or I try to calmly explain why I was upset, and, like, everyone has anger problems every now and then. I especially, I can definitely see that in myself. I definitely have a lot, a lot of anger problems. And, but I thank my parents for helping me realize um, that I can work through it and um, control my emotions. Because even though I do get angry, I do have a lot of self-control as well with other thoughts and... I, I just overall thank my parents for teaching me the difference between right and wrong. And I also thank them for um, just letting me learn in general instead of pushing a belief or a religion on them, on me I meant. And um, actually letting me um, ask the questions myself and go out there and learn stuff myself and that's where I get a lot of my philosophy from is from what I've learned online and um, what I have figured out myself it's thanks to them that I like to think I was always pretty questionable when I was younger I used to ask a lot of questions um, to my parents and it was up to a point where they realized that um, that they couldn't answer all my questions. They eventually told me that um, that I should go look it up, and um, and that's why I did. I decided to look it up. I learned how to fact check things because there's a lot of liars over the internet. And thanks to my mom, I wanted to only seek the truth. So I would go online. I was learning how to distinguish from what's right and what's wrong, and learning a lot of cool stuff online. And that eventually led to what I, what I've learned right now. I have stumbled and fall, fallen while I've been learning, and um, I'll get a little more into this in my Mindscape series. In my first episode is going to be all about my philosophical journey that I had. I've had um, a big stumble there that I have recently gotten back out of. And but anyways, I. Yeah, that's why I thank my parents for um, everything they've done and made, and for making me the person who I am. I also thank them for my brothers, and I thank for 
I th I am thankful for my brothers, and I thank that they listen to me, and um, that they give me a sense of pride of being an older brother, because I am the oldest one in the group. I got like um five younger brothers, and they're a handful, but I love them anyways. They're awesome. They're very playful. I play Minecraft with them sometimes, and we play board games. We talk about a lot of crazy stuff, and I'm able to um, teach them the stuff I've learned and discuss with them this sort of stuff, and it's just great being able to talk with them, and that's why I love them. I also thank um, my uncle for giving me my first job. Um, it was around when I was like 15 as I, um, I got a job in hay baling with him. And it's made me a tons lot stronger. And it was, it's a great exercise. It also taught me a little, about, a little bit about um, communicating with people. And because you gotta do a lot of communication with hay baling, it's a a, per, a bit of a um, dangerous job, not gonna lie. But um, if it's executed perfectly, it is a, it's a very nice job. And um, I thank him for that. I also thank him for being our um, babysitter all those years, all the way up until I was able to... Um, actually legally allowed to stay in the house myself and um uh, but beforehand it was always him he would always um babysit us watch me and my brothers and um we were a handful but he took it very responsibly and i just love that he was able to do that he was also he it's also because of him that i got my sort of sense of humor um being a babysitter for that long, I definitely picked up a lot of um, his humor, and I've been noticing that pretty um, lately that I have definitely um, adopted his sort of sense of humor. So um, all the jokes I make and um, like the sort of way I laugh sometimes is um, thanks to him. I have mimicked what he has done and I've sort of created my own sort of sense of humor but it's derived from his sense of humor so I thank him for that as well and um I would like to thank my cousins um that I mentioned earlier they are awesome I just love going over they really like us coming over and hanging out we love to talk we love to play around we just love hanging out and it's awesome just spending um just hours hanging out at their house just talking and um goofing off talk um making jokes it is amazing i just love hanging out with them and um i also thank um, my cousins for um give me a couple more subscribers to my channel <laughs> And um, it's not only that they subscribed, but that they told their friends and um, that some of their friends actually subscribed to my channel. Like early, a little bit ago, I only had 42 subscribers when they started talking about um, they telling their friends about my channel. It's jumped up all the way to the 46 subscribers, or at least that's what I've last seen. It was 46 subscribers. Um, thanks to um, their efforts. So I thank them for that as well. I also want, I would also like to thank them for teaching me a little bit of martial arts. It has been fun um, learning martial arts with them and also discussing about a variety of many different topics. But yeah, I really love hanging out with them and um, I can't wait till the next time we go over and hang out with them again. I would like to also thank um, my friends back in my hometown and because um, at the time we were living in a pretty cruddy part of our, my hometown but um, my two friends that lived there they just made it all the more worth it because they just brighten up their day they will always come over every time I take the dog out they always um come over hang out and I think I mentioned it in a 
this one video I was doing and um, that we literally spent two the full two years we were living in this cruddy part of my hometown that um, they well we were making up a story for like two years straight a continuous story like every day we go out there um, outside and um, or they would come over to our house and we would just make more of the story. It was like an anime crazy story. We used to discuss philosophy and um, discuss complicated topics and like in a fun crazy way and we're able to get our nerd on. It was just fun um, playing around like that. It was a great story and um, we are having little complications right now. I'm having complications with my one friend. And um, I just want to say, if you are watching this, that I do. Uh, what you have done is um, I don't like what you did. But um, that doesn't ignore the fact that I still want to be your friend and that I enjoyed those two years together. If they were the best, some of the best two, actually the best two years of my life. It was just amazing hanging out with you. You are a very good person. You just made one little mistake and I'm willing to forgive you. Like we literally, um, I saw my first shooting star with him and we literally um like sort of prayed to the shooting star because this was the first shooting star and i wanted to respect it and so we like prayed together to the shooting star and um saying that we'll always be friends we will never want to hurt each other and that's what sort of upset me after what he did is that he broke that promise and um but I am still, even after all he's done, I am still willing to forgive him. And I, I just want, I would rather be friends than bitter enemies. It was one little slip up. You made one little mistake and I will, I forgive you for what you've done. Just, it's very complicated. And... It's kind of hard to talk about. But still, I would rather be your friend than enemies, especially in these hard times. Is that I would rather have you fighting by my side, trying to help the world, instead of being like complete strangers. I would rather us be friends again. And all of it. Uh, you understand. But. Anyways, move on. Um, I would also like to um, thank my girlfriend, or um, at least ex-girlfriend now. Um, she was my friend, and then um, soon after, after a while, um, us talking together and um, talking to each other over the internet, I was helping her out with some problems she was having, like emotional problems, and... Um, I was always wanting to, I was not wanting to, um, step into the, um, uh, relationship status or the, um, girlfriend-boyfriend zone because I didn't want to sort of, I didn't want to really feel because she recently went through a breakup and I didn't want to just jump in onto it and, um, feel like I was taking advantage of her so I stayed in the friend zone and um I talked with her I um gave her some motivation I helped her work through her problems and eventually we did get together and it didn't really last long be um which I'll explain in a moment but it was honestly awesome being with her she was my first kiss and um she my first girlfriend and i was i was already learning about relationships and how because and i'm um, like reading books and stuff about relationships one book i read was called the five love languages and thanks to her i was actually able to put what i learned 
to the test. It didn't prepare me for everything, but actually getting in a relationship with her actually solidified what I learned in the book and gave me more context because I was a little bit confused on some of the stuff in the book, but when I got with her, I the, the gears started to click in my head and I started to realize, oh, that's what the book meant. And the reason why we broke up, though, wasn't because of each other, but it was because um, that we literally live cities apart, like 20 miles apart, and we didn't really have any real way to get um, together and actually be together. We only were physically together once, and then it was twice, and but that was the day where she we discussed about breaking up. It was better for both of us that um, we didn't stay together. But we did We did say that if the time does come, maybe we could get back together. But I'm unsure. That's just life for you. Life happens. I'm honestly, I didn't want to. Um, it sort of hurt. Like it's sort of like a punch in my um heart when um we were discussing about it and she said we um have to break up and it f felt like a punch in my heart but it hurt but then i started to think it over and take it a little more maturely and um started to think about it started to contemplate about it and i agreed that it would be best even though um it does suck but, yeah, I wasn't going to force her to stay with me because that wouldn't prove that I love her. That would just be, just show how selfish I am. So, like the saying goes, if you love them, let them go. And I was, I'm still her friend. I was still able to talk with her. Right now, there's, I don't know what exactly is happening right now. But she hasn't been online anymore. I don't know exactly what's been happening. But it kind of sucks that I'm not really able to talk to her anymore. But last I knew, she got together with someone else. And I was really supportive with um, talking to her. Her boyfriend even um, friended me and started talking to me. Like um, whenever they're having little complications, um, he came and actually asked me about um, what could he do. Um, he doesn't. He didn't really understand at the moment. And I gave him a little bit of insight since I was with her for about a month, and I picked up a lot from her. And learning about her personality, so I helped them out a lot, and I'm, it honestly made me feel very, very happy. The because that I that's the funny thing is that even though our breakup was hard, honestly, I came out with a big old smile on my face, and I just it was like I sort of didn't know why, but I knew exactly why the reason why i was so happy after the breakup is because i was able we were able to take up the breakup so maturely like i didn't throw a, a little fit and get angry or force her to stay with me or anything like that i we spent talked about it like we were mature adults and that's what I loved about it and she is still my bestie and I still love her and uh one day I I sort of hope I sort of hope that we might get back together but honestly that um I might get with someone else who knows it's um that's how that's how life goes <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, let's continue on. I um also would like to thank um oh, the people of the internet. Yes. I would like to thank all the people of the internet. All the people I have interacted with and all the people that just basically everyone on the internet, the good and the bad people on the internet. Like um when I first came 
onto um, Reddit. I was doing Minecraft um, suggestions on one of the Minecraft suggestions forums, and I was posting ideas on there. And my first idea, the first two commenters was Darwin Patrick, who I am friends with um, still, and um, someone by the name of F. B. Viso or something like that. They were my first two commenters on my first post, and they gave me solid advice on why my post wasn't so great, and that's why it won't really, it didn't really work on Minecraft suggestions. And I just love that they were able to give me advice like that. And it was actually thanks to them because they commented on a couple other posts that I further did. And it sort of trained me to make great posts. And eventually I hit gold with um, my one post about making um, abandoned villages where um, the cobblestone is turn the mossy cobblestone or at least some of it it has cobwebs just basically a village full of zombie villagers and it was a very neat idea and it got almost 200 upvotes i think maybe it was 158 upvotes and it was just awesome but on Minecraft suggestions, I started to soon realize that not all posts on there really accepted. Even ones that were, that would have been good ideas. Some of, like, some of the posts I was putting out there were just randomly getting downvotes. And no one was commenting why they're just downvoting. They're just downvoting and leaving. And um, this eventually drew me to um, chat. Um, with Sendine the Paradox, and me and Sendine eventually made the subreddit Uniquities and got um, other people like Master Disaster 64, um, Cam Cam onto there, and even Darwin Patrick got into there. And we created a bunch of crazy ideas. And I would like to thank the entire community, the entire team that was Uniquities. I thank you all. You guys were. You guys are a blast just talking to, goofing off, and um, I love the server we had and the stuff we built. And I think we I made one video about the server, but um, we didn't have Discord at the time, so we couldn't really chat to each other, and we had to do everything in text. And the episode sort of, we were supposed to do like a battle episode, but eventually we started just doing whatever on the server it was our server it was a lot of fun and we eventually made the mc admiralty server and i know not server um subreddit and that is a lot of fun that is still thriving that's got like 110 readers now it is insane how many people we got on there and it's just amazing i would like to also thank sendine for commenting on one of um while well, commenting to my Reddit post about the tree, um, the forester enchantment I made with command blocks, where um, Sendine suggested to make a log cabin, which it was a fun build video. This when I started doing these build videos, I just it was it was really fun, and it taught me a lot on my building style. And now I just make a lot of cool builds, and I just love it. I would also like to thank um, Master Disaster 64 for suggesting the Chain Reaction Enchantment. And also, being just a great friend on Discord, I really like to talk to him. Right now, we're in the midst of making some video games. One's called Project Mana, and the other one, which is um, the one I'm spearheading, is called um, Uni which will be another survival based video game but they definitely have they will have differences and um it's just a lot of fun um coming up with the ideas i've been trying to make textures for him and um a lot of other stuff and um i'd like to also thank objective insight for um, being a great commenter on MC Admiralities, he just literally, he is a freaking idea machine. He's just a factory for ideas. It's crazy how many ideas he just comes out with. And um, 
he also was interested in philosophy. So a little bit ago, I created a subreddit called Philosophy Nook, and me and him um, just started discussing ideas on there, and we started debating topics, and it's a lot of fun. I'll be definitely mentioning it a lot more in my Mindscape series, and um, because we were talking a lot, a lot about philosophy. I would also like to send Sam Dean as the Paradox on the um, the Philosophy Nook subreddit. I posted something about um, Infinity, and Sam Dean um, was talking to me about it, debating me about it. We sort of got into an argument, but then um, it was thanks to Sam Dean that I realized that my post was actually incorrect, and that's sort of the reason why I created. Um, the subreddit in the first place is because I don't know exactly what um, things I'll overlook or things I might forget and this post just proves why um, the subreddit is so good so I had to make my very first rethink post and I mentioned sending and the um, post and I thank sending a lot for um, helping me out with this post here and I would like to also thank, I'm sorry if I am stuttering a lot, it is just hard to think about um, all these people that I like to thank and all of the things they have done for me it is just so amazing. And I think I'm like 30 minutes into this now and it is crazy. I would like to also thank, um, who is it? Um, Pampa? Yeah, Pamfu or something like that. Um, for because on MC Admiralities, Pamfu um had a little wiki page, and I uh, he asked if I can make some textures. Well, actually, Cam um asked if I can make textures for Pamfu because Pamfu asked Cam if he has some textures. So I created some. I just love the textures I created, and I even went over the top and made tons of textures even textures that Panfu didn't even um, ask for like um, Panfu asked for a warrior heart and not only did I make a warrior heart with like swords in it like I made a little fire heart and then had one sword going through the fire heart and then another sword going through the fire heart for like level two and then I just made um a rainbow, like rainbow fire for the hearts, like there's red fire, there's orange fire, there's a yellow fire, a green fire, and they're all representing the chakra colors, and he used to remind them a lot about Undertale, and I just love using um, paint.net to make these textures, and who else should I thank? I would like to also thank Valiant Vole and William World for being my very first two subscribers, Valiant Vole being the first, and Valiant Vole also um, talking to me on MCR abnormalities as well, even though I haven't really talked with him as much as the rest of the um, members, I just still thank him for being someone to talk to. I like talking to people. And um, I would like to also thank... Um, Rainbow, I think it was Rainbow Demon 555 for being my first um, commenter to my um, episode about on um, the one subscriber special. And I think Rainbow Demon 555, even though um, Rainbow Demon 555's um, comment was sarcastic. Um, I eventually turned it around and made it into a positive thing. I didn't want to um, be ill-hearted towards, um, I guess, him. And um, so I thank Rainbow Demon for the comment. And um, he eventually turned a new leaf and um, wasn't as sarcastic. And it turned it, I was able to turn... Um, sort of a trollish message into a a positive experience. So I thank Rainbow Demon Five 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 for um giving me that opportunity to test out my peacemaking skills, and I would like to thank the people of Minecraft Suggestions and the people of MC Abnormalities for um all 
um, helping me with my debate skills. If I wasn't able to debate with people or argue with people or um, break up fights between people, I wouldn't have as good debate skills as I do now. So I thank you all for that. And I would like to also thank um, all the other wonderful people on YouTube, like Seth Bling, I was because Seth Bling was one of the first YouTubers I've watched. I just love watching his command videos. And um, at the time, I was working with Command Block, so I was watching Seth Bling, and I was also watching Dragnaws and watching his um, command creations to try to recreate them and get a better sense of how command blocks work. So it's thanks to those two that I have a lot of knowledge in command blocking. I would like to also thank Grian for um, making build videos because um, I, I was able to learn a lot from these build videos. It was also through Grian that I was able to find world edit and I was able to get it so I can get it on both client side and also on server side. And World Edit is a very useful tool. I used it in the um, the Uniquity server to build a lot of crazy stuff really, really fast. And it's also thanks to Gran that I learned a bunch of little building tricks. And I sort of honed in on my um, building style. And I thank Gran for that. I also thank Mumbo Jumbo and Asumavoid um, for making entertaining videos on Hermitcraft. I really like their videos. I really enjoy watching them. And I also thank Mumbo Jumbo for um, doing a video about Redstone. Um, because if it wasn't for Mumbo Jumbo's Redstone video, I wouldn't have really a clue about Redstone. So Green sort of quit me with the ability to build crazy builds. And Mumbo Jumbo gave me the um, ability to work a lot with Redstone. And it's just amazing what... I'm sort of like the, a col the combined powers of Grian and Mumbo Jumbo and heck why not Dragnaz uh, because I'm not the best builder in the world I'm not the best command block guy in the world and I'm not the best redstone guy in the world but I'm moderate in like all of them so I'm sort of the general a uh, Minecraft generalist I'm able to do a lot of things. I'm not perfect at everything, but I can do a little bit of everything. And that was definitely shown in my one video I did about the Hobbit Hole, where it was a. I just loved the little Hobbit Hole house. It looked awesome. And um, I just loved all the little redstone bits I put into it. It was just cool how you're able to make a cute little house like that. And then you just fill it up with a bunch of hidden redstone. And that's just like that piece of resistance and I just loved it and um I would like to also thank um people like log.zip I would like to thank um people like markiplier I would thank um uh people like thanks Sia and just a lot of YouTubers along those lines for being very entertaining and like in my downtime when I'm kind of stuck on ideas I would just watch some of their videos really entertaining really funny and I just love watching those sort of videos it's like a real pick-me-up and um and most of all, I would like to also thank um, Mojang for even creating this wonderful game called Minecraft. It's like, I don't know, I forgot exactly when I started playing Minecraft. It was like maybe, um, uh, maybe um, five years ago I started playing Minecraft. It was um, right around with 1.8 just came out and so i've been here since 1.8 and just the up it's just been a roller coaster um going through these updates and then making my own youtube channel and it is just amazing i would like to also thank the um speaking of which i'd like to also thank um the people who created youtube i would like to also thank google for um being a well, being a search engine for one, I'm just 
wanting to thank literally everyone that is donated stuff in my well have given me stuff in my life not particularly me but I've made it so that it's available for everyone like i thank uh, microsoft for making my windows computer or i thank samsung for making the tablet that i'm using to record this right now and just making my life a little bit easier and give me access to all this knowledge that is out there like most of the stuff that I was learning was um, through looking stuff up on YouTube and um, looking stuff up on Google looking stuff up on Wikipedia making sure to cross-check everything of course and watching things like maybe brain pop and the schools that I went to um, using the resources they have and I would and finally I would like to also thank the um even the bad people in my life I haven't really um because I've I've been a bit all over the place in this video I've been thinking a lot of things and um I would just like to finally end this by thanking even the bad people in my life because the what they did is that um, they tried to bring me down. They tried to make me feel less about myself. And they just tried to be utterly annoying. But it's thanks to them that I had to adapt and evolve and change and become an even stronger person. So if they were trying to make me weaker in any way. They absolutely failed, and I'm so glad that they failed, because all they've done is made me a much more stronger and resilient and more educated person. Just a overall more powerful person. And, yeah, I would like to also, finally for this video, I would like to thank the 46 subscribers. Like, I've seen... Like, my family is made up of eight people, and um, one day, I saw, I was in a group of, like, 20 people, I was waiting for something, and just 20 people was a lot, but 46, that is insane, that is far away from 50, and 50 is half of 100 people, and that is just insane that that many people have been watching my videos, and it's... I just thank you all for being here, and I hope you um, know that I appreciate that you've been watching my videos, and they've been um, you've been sitting through this cringy content I have. I, I'm still learning. I'll get better at it. And, um, yeah, I also thank you for, um, watching this video. I know it was a bit of a long and a bit of a weird video, but I thank you anyway for actually sitting through and watching it. it, it this was definitely a cringy video, and I'm just gonna look back on this video one day and be like, why did I say that? Why did I do that? But, eh, I'm still learning. And one of these days, I'll probably get it right and actually be someone enjoyable to watch. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching it. And may the universe be with you. See ya!